You're going to die somewhere. You're going to die doing something. Why not die serving the Lord? God has given you a great gift of faith. He's giving you this. What are you going to use it with? I want to end with this illustration. And it's my favorite illustration about faith. When I was a kid, growing up in a good church, and going to Sunday school, the Sunday school teachers always gave the same illustration about what faith is. And they would say the same thing. They'd say, that's Steve. Sometimes Stevie, don't call me that. They'd say, Steve, when you came in today for Sunday school and you sat down, did you examine the chair? Did you look at it? In fact, I even remember Mrs. Owen giving me this illustration. Did you examine any of it? No, you just came in and you sat down on the chair. Steve, this is called faith. This is not faith. I've been going to church my entire life. I've yet to see a chair break and someone fall on it. I've seen some big people come to church too. And I've yet to see, I've never been in a restaurant. I have never seen a chair break on anyone. I know there's videos on YouTube, but you might have seen it. And if you've seen it happen, you've probably seen it once in your life. I've gone my entire life and sitting in chairs and I've never yet examined it because I've never seen one fall. You know what this is sitting down in a chair? This is a reasonable expectation. It is a reasonable expectation in your life that chairs are going to support you. It is a reasonable expectation that you're going to have food. It is a reasonable expectation, being an American, that you're going to have a comfortable home and a pretty decent, easy lifestyle. It's a reasonable expectation that you're going to be taken care of. It is not faith. You are not living by faith today that you're going to have food tomorrow. It's a reasonable expectation. You have retirement. You have a job. You have money in the bank. Some of us could go a week without eating and still be okay. It's a reasonable expectation that your daily bread is going to be there. It's a reasonable expectation that you're going to be safe, that the government's not going to come in and take you away for believing in Jesus. It is a reasonable expectation that you will be safe. It has nothing to do with faith. This is what faith is. Faith is when the chair looks like it was put together by the mentally and criminally insane, and you look at it and it wobbles back and forth, and you see it and it looks like if a fly landed on that chair, it would fall down and fall apart. And that you see this incapacitated basically chair that could support no one on no god given earth reason should this chair support anyone, even a feather, and God tells you, sit in the chair. God tells you to sit down in the chair and you say, but God, I don't know if you haven't been here and it's been a long time since you've been on the planet. Do you not know about this thing called gravity? Do you not understand that if you sit in a chair like this, you're going to fall. And if I fall, it's going to hurt. One of my favorite places where I sit and it's not going to be comfortable. And God still tells you, sit in the chair. And by faith, by faith, you don't know where you're going to eat your next breath or get your next meal. By faith, you don't know if you're going to be alive the next day. By faith, you don't know what the government's going to do because you don't live in America. You don't have the freedoms we have. By faith, you're trying to stay warm through the night. By faith, you're trying to just tell. By faith, you are risking everything by telling people about Jesus. You are risking rejection from your family. By faith, you're going to stand up for what God says and you may even lose your job. By faith, you're going to serve Jesus. And God says, sit in the chair. And you sit anyways because all common and logic sense says you will fall. And what ends up happening? By faith, he keeps you up. It is not faith to sit in a chair. You've been doing it your whole life. Faith is when you step out and do something crazy for Jesus. Faith is when you give up $5 million. Faith is when you give up worldwide fame. Faith is when you operate and run a rescue mission yards from the gates of hell. That is faith. And you have been given a great gift. It is the gift of faith. Use it. And join me in prayer.